we're in Thailand, but that was a dry truck. truck. We know, we know about, about that kind of, kind of water. water. The, the, the problem, problem we have also, also is, uh, is uh, it's raining at, at, at the moment, but they, they might, might be coming much stronger. Shower, following some of the radar that we've been checking, weather radar. So at the moment, you know, we just have to wait and, you know, I'm not in a position to tell you more because although I love to predict the weather, here it's a bit difficult, a bit tricky. The wind was blowing one side and we thought we will almost avoid the shower, but then it went 180 degrees on the other side and now we have absolutely zero wind. So we so just have to wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we are prepared, prepared for any condition, condition. I, mean, I mean any condition, we are trying, we are trying to have both mic on different, different settings, setting, which, which is what, is, what, is, uh, uh, what, what we have to, to, be, be, to be doing, uh, uh, they, they still, still have start delay, you know, uh, they uh, first put five minutes, but I think now it's unknown time for start of the race, we just wait, you know, I think the most important is to go out and track a proper race with, you know, enough safety. Uh, they, they, well, we well, have, we you, have you, your, your, I mean, you're in your, your second, second race with these, these two rookies, rookies in a row, Fernandez, Fernandez Remy Gardner. Gardner. Uh, watching uh, from, from the outside, outside it, it kind of looks like, like I imagined, you know, their you know, personalities, the way they go about things. Raul looks like impatient, he wants to go fast, you know, and he's ragging it, but Remy's kind of methodically working away, going better and better, did a great first ride, and... That's only looking from the from outside. outside. I'm, I'm standing, standing in pit lane, lane but, but I'd love to hear from the inside. inside. You know, you first, know, first I, think I think this weekend, weekend will be a lot, a lot more competitive, competitive than, than what, we've what we've been doing in Qatar. Qatar. It's, it's a shame, shame but this is also experience, experience that, that uh, we couldn't, we couldn't use, uh, use the qualifying uh, well, 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 you know, both Raul and Remy wanted to get a tow and everybody was slowing down, so we only did one lap. You know, the second turn, we haven't done any time lap, so the grid position should have been slightly better. But, but uh, uh, no, no, I was I a little was bit, bit uh, not scared, scared but, uh, uh, you know, I didn't know, know what to expect, expect because we know how is hot, we know how is exceptionally talented, and, uh, you know, he's from South Europe, 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 so, you know. Uh, uh, but I have to say that even after Qatar, where he ended up, let's say, last, he took all the positive out of it, he told me, he told us, you know, Brad Binder finished second, so I know the potential of the KTM is high, he's a potential winner. So this, so this has, has uh, been, been really, really good to me, and I know now, now instead of trying to adapt the bike to my riding style, style I've got to change my riding style, style and adapt it to the bike, because, because I trust, I trust the, bike. the bike. The whole the weekend has been fast, fast pushing, pushing quite hard. hard. Uh, I think the worst was the qualifying, but we know the potential is here. But I mean, he's... He's okay. He's okay to handle, and for sure he wants to do more, but he understands there will be... A time, a time to, to, to learn, learn and, and, and understand. understand. On the Remy side, this is, this is a dream. You know, Remy is, uh, is a no worries guy. guy. Uh, you know, you know, you know a bit, you're coming from New Zealand and it's not far from Australia. Australia. No, Remy no, is absolutely cool. cool. You know, you know he's, uh, he's, fast he's fast on track. track. He, knows he knows there is some job to do, but he's having fun. And I was a bit scared when I was reading the comment of Raul after the Moto 2 season last year. And I and thought it was going to be difficult to handle, but honestly, if you come to the Red Bull hospitality, you will see most of the time, you know, they eat together, they laugh together, they share information. We stay at the same hotel, of course, you know, the whole team, and they were playing together by the pool. So, no, I don't know, there is a great atmosphere in the team. And, you know, it's only round two, but I think, you know, the idea, as for any rookie team, is to learn step by step and to improve. Hervé, thank, thank you very, very much for that. Much thank, you, thank you, Simon. Yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks so very, very much, much then, Simon, and to Hervé out. Some breaking news in here for you. The pit lane is going to open at 15.55. Yeah, 15 minute quick start. Hoping to get the race underway at 15.10 local time. Well, it's a spark rope. Isn't, isn't entirely, entirely sure, sure is he? Uh, in, those in those conditions, of course. Of course. A good start to the season for him just a couple of weeks ago, and the Aprilia team in general, a, a breakthrough of sorts for them. That is the uh, correct timings 
for the anticipated start of the race. Apologies for the uh, error on our tiny screens, uh, which were uh, giving us a little bit of a, a fear that we have to uh, talk for another hour, which, uh, <laughs> of course, is uh, not what anybody watching wants when we'd rather watch motorcycles go on the racetrack. Of course, we'll update you on any changes again to that schedule as we go. But as mentioned, a pretty really good start to the season for them. The closest in time they've ever finished to the race winner. Just 2.2 seconds between Alessio Spargo and race winner and Ian Bastianini justifying the height that they've been putting that new RSG team in pre-season, new agile RSG team. Although Maverick Pignal is finally going a little bit tough, Alessio Spargo is certainly proving that they've made a giant step forward with that appeal this year. So just for the 10 minutes away then from the start, of the Indonesian, Indonesian Grand, Grand Prix, Prix already, already shortened short to 20, 20 laps, laps, so you can see on your screens, that's, that's the new schedule. schedule. 10, 10 past 3 local time, time the race will start. Will start. There's, There's Miguel, Miguel Oliveira, Oliveira on the, on the uh, factory, uh, factory KTM, KTM. Just, just here there, there. huge claps of thunder, thunder. Off, off into the distance. distance. Reigning world champion Fabio Quattararo just trying to get some instructions. The race has been declared wet. That is a, a no great surprise, is it? As the uh, International Race Team Association, that's Danny Aldridge, just coming down there, the technical director of Erta, coming down to have a little chat with world champion Fabio Quattararo. We do wonder whether we will be able to get underway at 10 past 3 local time because the moment my country, country position, it looks like the rain actually starting start to get a little, little bit worse. Back up back now, and a little pre-race discussion with Jack Miller, as we mentioned, it was a disappointing start for the Ducati and Ovo team in Qatar a couple of weeks ago. Nil Poix, Bagnaia crashing out from a lowly battle for ninth place, and also, unfortunately, wiping out from the Ducati's Jorge Martin. And Jack Miller, a major malfunction with his electronics, and quite just had no idea where it was around that Qatar circuit, and he had to retire. So, in fact, the Ducati team looking to bounce back, and of course, the Ducati potentially on course for history today. They won the last three MotoGP races. Were they to make it four here today? Well, it'll be the first time in their history. Of course, they joined the World Championship back in 2003. There's Rich Brighton, also from Erta, just uh, keeping Maverick Vinales up to date with the latest information. As we look at the world champion then, Fabio Quattararo. Yeah, I'm not sure he's entirely keen on uh, getting on his motorcycle and heading out on track in eight minutes' time. Alex Rins was feeling a little bit unwell earlier in the weekend, although he's slightly happier uh, two days on. He spoke to the media on Friday and seemed very, very unwell indeed, but yeah, much happier with life for Suzuki. From a, um, a motor racing point, point of view, view putting, putting to one side the riders' physical, physical conditions, they've had a disappointing, disappointing weekend, weekend, it has to be said. They've showed, they showed so much promising Qatar, only for it to fall slightly flat on race day. Jack Miller giving us away, but I think he'll be uh, two phase with his wet conditions. He's shown in the past just how good he can be in conditions slightly less wet than this, but certainly wet. But yes, Suzuki just did not, not deliver the race in the end. end. Simon Crocar spoke following the race earlier this weekend. weekend. He said he reckons that the uh, extra fuel they've had to carry, to carry was something to do with that, of course, with the extra power from the new GSX RR engine, which one man has had a very poor weekend due to start this Grand Prix down in 17th position. But we can go down to the pit lane now. Of course, the big story of race day so far is the absence from this Indonesian Grand Prix this afternoon of Mark Marquez, a horrendous accident in warm up. Let's get an update on the 18th of Alberto, Mark has been incredible this weekend. He almost pulled off something amazing yesterday. I love that he tried. He didn't manage it. But again today, what an incredible big crash. Something, something like, like from, from, from our day on the two strokes, strokes you, know. you know. I would, I would uh, really, really like, like to hear from, from you for the first time, time how, how is he, he and, and uh, how, how long, long do you expect him to, to, to be, be away? away? But, but, what, but also, also while, while we have, we have you, you, also, also the, the, the good... good we never raced here before, here and, uh, before and, uh, the conditions are completely, completely different than uh, the test and, uh, and the practice uh, for, the for the weekend. So, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's start, start and, and we'll see. see but uh, the guys, the guys are, are in a good mood. mood. Both, Both of them, them usually perform well in the wet conditions, so 
Yeah, yeah. Finger, finger crossed, crossed and, and let's go. go. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks yeah, to thank Francesco Guidotti. Great start as well as for the, the KTM, KTM team in Doha, Doha Brabinder. It's a third podium finish in the Premier Class. Joking, of course. That was, of course, his brilliant victory at the Red Bull Ring in the Austrian Grand Prix last year. So finally, we are getting the grid forming here at the Tertamina Mandalika Circuit in Indonesia. Pramak Nakati, a weight bear man, Jorge Martin and John Zarco, both going from the front row of the grid. Brad Binder. There's going to be some nerve jangling now because, as we mentioned, we can't overemphasize this is a complete blank canvas, a complete journey for the moment for these guys. They've never raced before here in Mandalika. They've certainly got very little experience of wet weather conditions. In some respects, it might be a bit of a lottery, but it's certainly going to provide some nail biting entertainment. We hope you have stuck with us over the last hour and a half or so when our coverage of both the GT started. I'm sure you have. Why would you go anywhere? It's the greatest motorsport show on earth as we look at an A of Astrid starting from the middle of that second row. Binder and Bastri Nini Lewis in the dry. You really fancy them to be strong, given they excelled in the Doha from really good qualifying forms. Let's quickly top down to the grid again. Tierra Caramassa and Mixley, they've been thrown in an 11th hour curve, but haven't they by these tricky conditions? Simon's with the Mixley Motorsport Manager, Tierra Caramassa. Yes, Piero, some new conditions for you to make the weekend even tougher. Can you tell us what tyres the riders will go for? Yeah, in this condition, uh, the choice is uh, medium front and medium rear. This is the one uh, because the track temperature is still quite uh, high, is around uh, 25 or 26 degrees. And also because here, the, you know, the tricky point is the hovering on the right side. With the soft compound, the problem that you might hover it too much, you lose grip. With the medium, will be much more stable. So this is the, the best choice for this condition. Thank you, Pierre. So you're welcome. Yeah, thanks yeah, to Piero Tiara 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 We're just running, running through, through this revised, revised grid now, of course, revised, sadly, because, because eight times, times world champion Mark Marquez, Marquez has, has been ruled out of this delayed Indonesian, Indonesian Grand, Grand Prix. Prix. There is the, uh, the president then, Mr. Joko Widodo, who is finally, after all of his effort and all the effort of the authorities here in Indonesia, it looks, it looks like, like thankfully, thankfully, we are, we are going, going to get, get MotoGP action, action here in Indonesia, Indonesia for the first, first time since 1997. Since 1997. Well, the Shalans certainly, certainly did the, did the trick. trick. In the end, in the end we, got we got gold, gold the, the, the race we were hoping for. Yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever that, that lady's lady name was. <laughs> Get her inducted into the MotoGP Hall of Fame very, very, very quickly because, uh, yes, it, it does look like the, uh, the rain banisher or whatever she was called by the locals. She normally goes to big events like weddings and parties. She'll be, uh, she'll be getting a position at uh, the FIM, I think. She'll be taken to every Grand Prix over the course of the year now to, uh, to try and uh, ward off any potential wet races or cancellations. So we're about to get underway then for this Indonesian Grand Prix and Ayat Bastianini goes into, goes into it as the, as the championship leader. Let's, Let's get a word from Bassini with Simon. Yeah, that, yeah, was, that a was a key, key uh, word you said there, championship leader. leader. That's, That's what I've come, come to see. Michele uh, Massini. Michele, he's, he's done, done so, so well, well in Mayo. You know, you know for the first, first race, race, all, all the, way the way through this, this event, event, put himself put in a good, good position on the grid, looked good in the P4. Now, completely different conditions. How does he feel about the whip? Yeah, yeah, and now, now it's difficult, difficult to predict, to predict uh, how, how, do the, how do, does, does it go the race, race because, because uh, still, still a lot of uh, water, water on track. track. There is a big, big, big patch in some, in some corner. corner. But for, for sure, sure this, this is the same condition, condition for everybody, for everybody and, and we, we don't, don't make, make any, any practice, practice on this condition. So uh, we, will we will see. We start, we start starting on the second row, which is good enough. But we have to learn lap by lap what we can, can do. do. How does the mayor feel, feel about, about rain conditions, conditions riding? riding. Not, 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 so not so bad. Not so bad. Mm, we, have we have to improve, improve uh, in this point, but, but uh, we, have we have a good base, base on, the on, the on the rain. Thank, thank you and best, best of luck. Thank, thank you to you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks Simon. Thanks, thanks to Michele Massini from the Grazini Ducati team. Can they continue their stellar start for 2022? Alex Rins. Not, not quite, quite sure, sure but it's, that it's sunglasses, sunglasses weather right, right now for the uh, Suzuki, Suzuki man but I guess, I guess just, just trying to keep himself focused, focused trying, trying to hide some, some of the nerves, nerves that will inevitably be hitting these riders, riders. This, this is, is nerve-wracking nerve stuff. stuff this, this is, is tense, tense. 
this is this where, is where these, guys these guys are really, really their skills are put to the limit, limit their, concentration, their concentration their focus, their focus because, because they're, they're just about, about to encounter a racetrack, racetrack in conditions, in conditions that, they've that they've never experienced, experienced before. before it's, it's a bit of a level playing field this isn't it it's going to be a case of fortune favoring the brave jack miller normally he revels in these kind of conditions even thriller miller looks a little bit pensive as we count down towards race time here in mandalika Yes, six, six minutes, minutes to go, to go then. then. Speaking, Speaking, of course, course earlier on, we were discussing, discussing the potential the strategies, strategies that might be deployed in a dry weather race. race. And the, big the big talking, talking point, point, I suppose, was Fabio Quartararo's determination, I think, to get to the front of the race and get a clear track with the Ducatis looking to stop him doing so. In many ways, even though it's a wet race, that is still the end for Fabio Quartararo, more because of the visibility here rather than any kind of issues with overheating front tyres. We're still expecting to see a little bit of spray, more than a little bit of spray. There will still be some standing water and patches of this race track. We've already heard from Pierre Caramato that there are still some patches as the virtual fan wall. Get ready to see this historic first Indonesian Grand Prix in 25 years. If we are going to see some spray, particularly in the early laps of the field, while running together, it's going to be so important for these guys to try and get a clear track as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah, Fabio Quattarari would not have known how, how perhaps, perhaps significant that pole position was yesterday. He knew it was going to be good in and crucial in dry conditions. Well, it might be absolutely vital now with, as Lewis said, the potential for spray hitting the riders that are in the chasing pack. An excellent weekend so far then for this young man, Fabio Di Gian Antonio. Very, very limited experience about the catchy and rain conditions. This is, this is going to be a, be a tough, tough, tough test, test of the metal, metal for, for these uh, MotoGP riders. Five, five minutes, minutes then to the race start, start here in Mandalika, in Mandalika. And, finally and finally we can, we can say, say there's, there's, going going there's going to be MotoGP race, race, race action, action. In, in Indonesia. Our first, our first visit to Southeast Asia since 2019. One wider perhaps to identify that we haven't mentioned yet, who will certainly fancy his chances in these conditions. Starts all the way back in 18th on the grid, the brother of this man, Marmark. GP battle, battle we were all hoping for. for. It was, it was worth, worth the wait, as you mentioned, two rates over 8,900 days since our last semi class action here in Indonesia. The podiums are about to get under the, the wheel of there. Katra and Zarko are coming to the podium here. And Alika. So KTM then. Certainly in business, aren't they, at the start of the 2022 season. Second in Qatar, and a victory here, as Francesco Zidotti pointed out, to Simon downstairs. Jean Zarco then ending his podium jump. Fabio Quattuaro quite possibly the happiest man on the podium. This has to do a real breakthrough for him in full weight condition.